can feel it. I can feel the power! What is up, YouTube? It is Hollywood Floss, the worst producer of all time. Back with another video. In today's video, we got Hexacore's Orb Producer Suite 3. Now, if you don't know what Orb, it is a chord, melody, R, bass, suite, all in one. AI intelligence, the artificial intelligence does the work for you. It creates the beat, or mainly the beat, and then you arrange it and you put the sounds together for it. So we're gonna dive into that because we got the upgrade, okay? We was already on two, now we on three. Okay, so we're gonna get into that. But before we go any further, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button hit the notification bell so you get any video upload to the channel you know i do reviews i give away midi and loop kits for free and we always go live to critique beats and bounce ideas off each other yeah so if you want to collab with me also join the patreon patreon.com forward slash hollywood floss one all right i got different tiers over there and uh, some secret stuff over there some secret sauce over there so join the family okay let's get right into it so this is the site you will go here um, I think it's a hundred bucks or like forty dollars for the upgrade so I just had to upgrade so now we're here all right let's get into it okay so this is how it looks or producer three like a lot of people have been saying hey hey we got we need this we need this we need this you could upload MIDI you could do that so now we here all right so the first thing it's a sleek new design They've upgraded the orb. The orb used to be on the left side of the screen. Now it's on the right side of the screen. So that is cool to see. Um, some of the same things with, you know, the sounds, but they added a couple of them. You got acoustic bass, chords, lead, pads, percussive, plucked voice, and you can add your favorites or you can tweak your favorites. And we'll talk about that as well. Okay, so let's go to all back and let's just pick one. Well, no matter of fact, we can go to pads. It's a little soft pad or something like that, all right? So we'll get into that. Okay. So now you have your solo mute. You have your mute. Okay. You also have this little chain right here, okay? You can link your chords together. So let's say you have the first theme is like your intro or um your verse and then you want to go into like a bridge or a hook you can link these two together so we're going to get in that as well but starting off here's the chord selection and then you have this section over here okay tonality you pick the key so we're going to be in d today d minor okay four bar loops and then we can go in of course just like the other one you can go into any chord progression now i do love how many chord progressions they have off the top this is just amazing um besides the ai doing some work for you they give you some choices so let's let's just use that one we're gonna say okay all right and it generates you know something nice so when you click on it it turns yellow so you know that you're in that chord you can turn this d into a d seventh or whatever chord it is into a seventh right away or you could turn into a ninth and it moves automatically for you that is cool so you don't have to adjust you're already still in key okay so let's hear how so i really just don't this is the only one i don't like so we're going to turn that into a ninth okay now if you click on the chord you can just have this right here randomize it so now I don't like that one of course but that's cool just say hey you could just say I'm just gonna randomize it now if you want to randomize all your chords you just click on the second button and then this button right here allows you to do multiple chords in a bar So that sounds pretty cool. Let's go back to the first one and let's just right, let's go back to the third one and let's just make so this is what it sounds like. Let's 
So by putting the multiple chords in a bar, you have two right here, three right here, two, three, and then it's just one it ends off of. So it's just kind of gives you a different feel. This is incredible when you're using loops. When you're using when you're making your own loop packs, you want to give some different sauce, some different bounce, use this button right here, okay? So let's just go back to the that was a crazy progression. Let's go back to that first progression. We're going to take off the multiple chords per bar. All right. And then you can get inside the chords and you can change them this way as well. All right. So this is the scale. Everything highlighted is means you're in key with the D minor chord. You can change stuff to that. Sustain, diminish, augment it, substitute. And then you can also add the intervals, add a little color, add a little jazz to it. Make it simple or not. Okay. And then when you get into the notes, Let's just say if you want it to be a little bit more complex, we like to play, if we're going to do polyrhythm, we like to do 4-4, four, four, of course, in hip-hop. Um, and you can also do the rhythmic rule. You can make it like that, or you can make it 1-8. You can make it 16. That's a little overkill, but we're just going to do regular all-bar duration. And then we're going to hit the orb for the first time. We're going back to the orb. Bam. The orb gave me something in D minor, of course. Okay. Now let's say I didn't didn't like that. I can hit the back button right here. That is great. So I go right back. So let's say I hit the orb three times. One, two, three. And I said, like, man, I messed up. I really wanted to go to that second one. Just go back two times. <laughs> Just go back two times. Now the orb really shines when in this complexity and taking off the density, showing the octave, syncopation, you can get a little, you know, drum and bass kind of loop going. Sp spread them out. Let's see what we got. Okay. And then we're going to just move that over. So we're going to open up an instance. Well, as a matter of fact, now that we know how to work this. And one more thing I want to show you. The synth. Come in and create your own type of sound. Has all the features of a synth keyboard. That you come in here and you can kind of change up your own style. Let's just, let's just try to make something happen with this. And let's see what we come up with. Let's see how it sounds. Okay, that sounded a mess. I'm not going to lie, that sounded a mess. But that's okay. We're going to change the tempo to like 116 or something like that. And then we're going to start fresh. I just wanted to show you that also... You can hit the orb up here as well as hit as that, and then you can go back to whatever you want to go back to. All right, so we're gonna go to the beginning. We're gonna start. We're gonna go now. We're gonna go to E major. We're gonna go to our chords, and we're gonna see if we like it. Okay. It's all right, it's all right, it's all right. And then we're going to go get some good sounds. Heat up three, and then we're going to show you how you can just make up anything you need, all right? So we're going to go to guitars, all remains, and we're going to just drag this on over here. Now, the next thing you need to do is you got to go to octave, and you got to get a melody, all right? The melody should sync up. This is the melody they've given us. Not bad. It's called power. Um, but let's just say we wanted to mess around. You could change the density, change the complexity. And we're going to roll with that. And I'm just showing you how it would sound. So for right now, we have. Got a little 
little R and B going, you know, and then we're gonna keep on moving on. And now they have said that they have fine tuned it so that it makes more usable melodies as well. Okay, so that's cool as well to have something because at first, you know, some of it wasn't usable. Now we're still in E minor, bro. We might not like how that sounds, so we're just gonna, you know, change that up a little bit. And then we're gonna take off some of this density, but we're still using the arp. Okay, now one thing that this arp does that other ones don't do, it doesn't just play the same three notes in a chord, it plays passing notes as well. You can put a little human touch in there. Um, let's take the octave up, okay, and then let's hit the bar. Okay, so we got that. And now we're gonna open up. Matter of fact, we're gonna keep it here and just Move it over. Let's see what this sounds like. Okay. Kind of like, you know, some pop. And then we got, the, last but not least, we got the bass. We got the bass, y'all. Got to bring it home. Okay. So it defaults to guitar bass. I'm just going to move this one over right away. And then if we hear something we like or want to change, we'll do that. Not bad, but I want my bass to be a little bit more rhythmy. I want it to, to want to, you know, feel a little bit better than that. That's too much. Let's take off some of this. Okay, that's a little bit better. A little bit of movement to it. So we're getting better and better at just making stuff out the box, okay? So that's just out the box. We started with some chords, but we gave it a different sound. So you can make something out the box, I, AI assisted, I'm sorry, I'm thinking about Allen Iverson, I'm going backwards and forwards, AI assisted, just like that. So let's go back into chords and let's see about dragging our own MIDI in here. It says drag your MIDI file here. This is something that a lot of AI needs because I know producers R&B, Sweet has this. So we're going to go in here and we're just going to go into midi right here we're just gonna use some of uh some sample soul midi let's use that one now when you use it you can turn it into a melody or it could be mixed meaning chord and melody you're going to put your time signature it tells you how many bars and it tells you what key it's in that is dope that is dope okay harmonize that bam this is the key to the future. All right, taking MIDI that's already been made, analyzing it, and I don't like that sound. I'm sorry, y'all. Okay, let's use that one. So that is something I have. Let me change this. Let me go back in. You can use your own MIDI. That is dope. So that's like some trap right there already. Oh, it didn't take. My bad, y'all. Let's cancel that out. Let's delete that. Let's add a new one in. Okay, so this one's C minor. Bam. That one sounds good. I'm not going to lie. So now we're going to change up everything. We saw how everything else worked. Now this is just say you have your own MIDI. I just moved it over to Heat Up 3.
okay so now I'm gonna delete these other instances and watch it latch on to the other MIDI to create a sound around it so this is the new MIDI now I'm gonna open up chord melody and watch it latch on BAM C minors already latched on that's dope y'all like you should be making beats in five minutes and good beats Just imagine if you had like if, if there wasn't just the orb sound imagine if it's like a contact or omnisphere sound let's keep going let's go to the arp let's see if it latches on there and keep create something dope bam move over we're going to turn this down a little bit from just using MIDI that you can find. So you can create your own MIDI. You can use MIDI that you pre previously had already. That is dope. It's your boy Hollywood Floss, the worst producer of all time. In the next video, I'm going to just make the beat from scratch. And then I'm going to put in new sounds to show you the, the highest of capabilities. But I just want to show you Hexacore Orb 3. The upgrade that you should be getting right now, I do put my stamp of approval on it just because you can add the MIDI, okay? You can mess with it, change your own sounds. They got the new synth engine in there just going crazy. Play with that. And um, it's it's 40 bucks. It's like, I think it was like 45 or 48 bucks. And um, yeah, so for the next week, I'm going to be cooking up with this. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. That's how the family grows. Hit the notification bell. Leave those comments, good or bad. What do you think? Will you be doing an upgrade? Will you stick to Scalar? Okay, or will you stick with Captain Chords? I'm going to do a mixture of all of them, but right now, the new baby is born. The new baby is here, so we got to play with this one. It's Hollywood Floss, the worst producer of all time. New MIDI, okay, new engine, new interface. And it sounds like when you generate from the orb, it's not as cheesy, okay? Stamp of approval, Hollywood Floss, the worst producer of all time. Peace.